The final section that we will cover will be rules. To set up a new rule, hit the plus sign, then select new rule. First task will be to name the rule. In this instance, we are writing a rule that will control our remote annunciator to be used as an overfill prevention device. Once it is named, select Enabled and set it to Yes. Then select Events, hit the plus sign, and select Event. We'll begin working with what type of an alarm this is. We'll want an alarm curd. For category, we'll want FMS. For code, we will want a high product level. It is important to remember what you selected when you were making your limits in the underneath the fuel management section. We chose level and not a volume, so we will need to choose level here. For device ID, we want it to go off on any tank. Use the back arrow button to return to the rule and select Actions. Hit the plus sign and select Action. For type, we are going to want to activate a relay. Relay module and the remote alarm channel. And we want it to activate as an action. Use the back arrow to return to the rule menu and select actions again. We'll want to set up a second action because we are using a remote acknowledgement alarm. This action will be virtually identical to the first one with the exception that instead of activate we want it to deactivate. Use the back arrow to return to the rules menu.